single whip, we start with the feet parallel, the hands crossed, and just sitting down slightly. First we'll do the hand movements and the hand postures. One is to bring the hands into a hook with the fingers touching. This is called a crane's beak. Crane's beak. Forming a crane's beak. Open up and we step to a comfortable distance with the feet 90 degrees to each other. Yeah. If you can. If you're not that open in the hips, you, you only have to go a little bit less. Just where you feel comfortable. I wouldn't go beyond 90 degrees, but 90 degrees seems to be a good, a good distance, good angle. So we'll start from cross hands, forming a crane's beak as you turn to the right. As you turn to the left, opening up, step 90 degrees, bring the weight across to the left side as you turn your hand back into the middle. You have the posture single whip. So again, starting from cross hands, forming a crane's beak as you turn to the right, as you open up, move the left foot out, all the weight to the left, and then the middle. To bring yourself back into the original position, we're going to bring the left hand behind the right, and the foot follows as the hand comes in. Turning to the left now, we form a crane's beak with the left hand. Open up, foot 90 degrees if you can. Turn the hand as you shift the weight to the right, and then open as the weight comes to the center. So again, with the inside hand, Crane's beak as you turn to the left. Open, step with the foot, turn the hand around, and center your weight. To come back, we bring the right hand in, bring the foot in with you, and just look down and make sure that your feet are parallel. As your hands are crossed, you then turn to the right, forming a crane's beak. Opening up, we step 90 degrees, turn the palm out, and then the center. Bring the left hand in behind the right as you bring the foot in, cross hands. Shifting the weight to the left, form a crane's beak. Opening up, the foot goes out, transferring the weight, the palm pushes out. Center the weight back. Moving the right hand in, right foot in, behind the left to cross hands. Shifting the weight to the right, Crane's beak, warding off to the left, step and transfer the weight to the left as your left hand turns out, and then center the weight. Bring the left hand in, left foot in, cross hands, then you can just bring the hands down to the Wuji position. This is more demanding to learn than the movements that have come previously. However, it's quite beneficial in terms of opening the hips, your balance, and also as you 
turn in to this inguinal crease and come out, it adds to the legs pumping your blood around and your lymph around, which is very good for the movement of toxins um, out of your body. So you learn to squeeze and release. Here, coming back. Squeeze and release. So you get a pumping action for all the fluids in your body. And this helps as a uh, detoxifier. But it's also good to um, keep your mind alert and aware as to which hand's going forward and which hand's behind. So it's a, a form of meditation in itself. Okay, so once again, with the left hand behind, we shift the weight to the left, turning to the left, form a beak, crane's beak with the left hand. Turning to the right, step out, transfer the weight and push with the right hand, center the weight. Bringing the weight back, we bring the hand and foot in, right hand behind this time. Turning to the right, shift the weight to the right. Open, step and push, centering the weight. Bringing the hands in, foot in, left hand behind this time. Shifting the weight to the left, form a crane's beak. Breathing in as you step. Breathing out as you center. Continue breathing out as the hands come in. Breathing out, breathing in. Out as you center. Breathing out. So the breathing for the single whip, we're going to let it open naturally as the hands and the arms open. So you don't have to concentrate too hard. As you turn to left, shift the weight to the left. The general sitting down and relaxing will let the breath come out. As you open, there'll be a natural tendency to breathe in. And then relax, hold the posture for a second as you breathe out and relax. Bring the hands in. Be a natural tendency to breathe out and a natural tendency to open and breathe in. And then sit down and relax. Turning, left hand behind, relax the breath. Shifting the weight to the left, turning to the left, forming a crane's beak with the left hand. You naturally want to breathe in. You don't really have to think about it too hard. Coming back, cross hands, turning to the right, shifting the weight to the right, forming a crane's beak with the right hand. Open. Sitting back to the center. Just open the hands. Come down to your wushi stance. This is single whip.